So speaking of the birth certificate becoming a banknote, a bond traded on the international stock market, when it was registered into international commerce, speaking of that, I was actually doing the ABCD instructions for the rescinding of informant signature on birth record. So as a parent, you can rescind your signature. It's your right. You just have to know how to do it. So speaking of doing that, as I was making those videos, I was like, hey, here's something cool that people would probably really appreciate. You see that right there? That right there. In green over here is the parent's name. It says, hereby stand as belligerent claimant upon these rights and others as required. What does that mean, right? You're in luck. Let me explain. Federal District Court Judge James Alger Fee. You see that? He made a ruling, and this is what it said. This ruling, the judge just instructed you on how to proceed. He said that rights are not accorded to the passive resistant. That means if you don't know your rights, if you don't stand up for your rights, you ain't got them. Rights are not available to the individual who is ignorant of his rights. You see? That's a judge telling you. Nor are rights available to a person who is indifferent, or in other words, a person who simply doesn't care. And further, Judge Fee has clearly informed you that your attorney, this is key, cannot truly represent you. Now, what does that mean? I'm going to explain it all, but let's continue. Judge Fee tells you that rights are only available to the belligerent claimant. There's that word. Belligerent claimant in person. He further stated that to claim your rights in a court of this country, you must be willing to engage in sustained combat. <laughs> that might be real confusing, right? I know it is. That's why we came to be the damn chain, to take things that are more complicated and to simplify them for my fellow man. So you can know, so you can stand up too. Let me explain what it means. Well, we'll start here. CJS, what's that? Corpus Juris Secundum, right? Attorney client, this is why the attorney can never truly represent you. Nobody told you, when you sign over your power of attorney to an attorney, you give up your unleanable rights. So now, you don't know that the actual attorney is subject because he gave an oath. An attorney's first duty is to the courts, the public, not the client. So it means his first duty, his oath, is first to the bar and to the courts. The courts are commerce. He can't represent a living man because he has an oath first there. So when you sign over power of attorney, you fall under that. Now you've given up your unleanable rights and you're subject to what he's subject to. Only you can do this. And that is what a belligerent claimant is. It means you're willing to stand up, stand up for your right, take hits, and be the change you want to see. You can't be passive. You can't lay down. You can't remain silent. You have to be the change you want to see. That's why it says that you become the belligerent claimant claiming your rights. Be the salt, be the light, and be the change. State Nationals rock.